with uh, Coach Cornelius Ingram for Hawthorne Girls Basketball heading to state. And Coach, um, just your thoughts about going to state? Um, we're excited. You know, it's, it's big for our community, um, especially with everything we, we've been through um, the last year um, as far as the school letter grade. Um, but, you know, our kids, they, they, they've been taking it personal throughout the year. Um, football team, boys basketball team, the girls basketball team, we've had a lot of success um, thus far. And we, we definitely want to finish the task, and um, we feel like we, we, we have a great chance to do that. This is, this is um, only Hawthorne's, I believe, only the second time the girls have gone to state. I know the first time was kind of a, a novel, not a novelty, but just kind of first time to be in that situation. Mm -hmm. I know the girls were on that team then, but this is the second time and maybe a little more serious going this time or what? How do you um, feel? We're just trying to approach it as next game up. You know, we don't want to put too much pressure on our kids. Um, you know, we're, we're excited about this opportunity. They worked extremely hard to get to this point. Um, so, so it's not anything extra that we're telling them that, yeah. that they need to do. You know, we just want them to go out and relax and play basketball. And I think, you know, for, for the most part, if, if they do that, I think um, we should have a good chance of, of, of being successful down in Lakeland. What do you know about uh, Holmes County? Um, they're, they're, they're pretty big inside, you know, yeah. um, their post presence. Um, I know one, their best player, she plays in the post, so she's, um, she's very dominant. Um, to, to what what they want to do as far as a basketball team. Um, fundamentally sound team, um, make knock down all their free throws, make good passes. So, you know, they're, they're a pretty good team. Um, we're, we're, we're excited, you know, we just feel like if we play Hornet basketball, um, we'll be fine. And, and I, think, I think my girls are confident and they're, they're relaxed and uh, they've been preparing the right way, so. You know, when you have that, you know, you kind of set yourself up for some success. What can you do to kind of um, get them, because it's a, a big, big place. It's mm -hmm. a lot different than obviously mm -hmm. here at mm -hmm. Hawthorne. Mm -hmm. What can you do to get their not so nervous when they first go out there and just be, be themselves and kind of relax? Well, you know, b b before almost every game, you know, we kind of take uh, one deep breath together as a team, even, yeah. even as a coaching staff. Um, and you know it's something small, but I, I think you know it works um, for the for the most part. And, and, and like I said, we, we try not to address the game um, a, as if it's you know the biggest game in the world left right. to be played. Um, so we think if we keep our emotions in check, um, we'll be fine. And I think our girls will do a, a good, do a good job with that. They um, they've been coachable all year. Um, they definitely deserve the success that they that they're that they're getting right now, and um, I'm I'm happy about where we are, and I'm excited to get to Lakeland. You only have one senior on your team, so you got a pretty young team. Yeah. Just talk about the maturity of this young team to, to be at this position. I think we're very mature, you know, even even with having you know one senior. Um, but I I do remember that that one Hawthorne team that that made it to to Lakeland years back. I was there at the game and I remember telling, you know, some of the girls who were coming back to school, you know, about how important the offseason would be, um, how hard you would have to work this offseason. And um, because a lot of people think when you're young and you have success, it automatically follows you the following year. And, and that doesn't necessarily happen. So um, our girls are, are, are humble and hungry at the same time. So, you know, that, that makes them easy to coach. So. You know, it's one of those things where I, I just hope they enjoy this moment and, and, and embrace it because um, it's hard to get there. You know, it doesn't mean, you know, because you went there this year, you automatically will go back next year. That's definitely not the case. So that's our approach. We're going to take advantage of our opportunity now and uh, seize the moment. You kind of had a feeling that you're going to have a pretty good team this year. I mean, I mean even after the football season was yes. over, you kind of had a feeling. And I know they lost at Lafayette last mm -hmm. year in the regional final, so – um, what is it about this team that you think has a good shot, good chance of getting into the final? You know, being, being in a small, being in a small community, you get you get to know the kids on a personal level. You know, so I know you know what kind of kids I deal with on a day to day basis. You know, um, a lot of them have went through some things in their lives personally um, that that we've shared with each other, we talked about, and we we've overcome. And you know, so when you have those type of kids, you know, when when, when they're able to get out on the basketball court and kind of let it go and let that be their outlet, 
um, you can get a lot out of them. So, yeah. um, you know, just knowing what the pieces we had last year, the pieces we had returning um, for this upcoming season, um, I knew we could be special if, if, if we took advantage of our opportunities. And our, our girls, they've been doing that so far, and it's been fun. Are they excited about the trip? They are. They are. Um, a, a lot of them, a lot of them followed the boys down a couple years back, um, and you know, a couple of them already have said, you know, I never imagined us being here. You know, so that that's a great stepping stone for us. Um, I feel like our, our program is, is headed in the right direction. Um, we'll we'll continue to get better um, because you know they don't have any choice with me. You know, we'll we'll work extremely hard throughout the off season. Um, We'll get kids, you know, who, who are young, um, that can that can play for us right away. You know, that's right. the best thing about you know being here at Hawthorne with, with, with us being middle school and high school. You know, I have a starting eighth grader who, who who's my guard. She'll she'll play a lot of basketball here for a long time, and she's pretty good. So um, that's the advantage we have. Um, we tell kids all the time if you want to come out and play early, you take those you know bumps and bruises early. Then once once you're a sophomore, junior. You definitely should be ready to go. Uh, it was a big, big win, obviously, beating Lafayette here. How have, how have the girls been since that victory as far as practices? Have they been really focused on going to state? That they kind you know of put that behind them and kind of focused? I, I spoke with Steve Russell earlier today, and I, I, I shared with him. We, we've had some great practices um, throughout the year, but I think our best best couple of days you know, we're after after the mail after the mail game. Yeah. You can tell the girls really understand what's going on now, and, and, and they're comprehending. You know, everything that we're trying to do. So it's a better understanding. Um, they're even more focused in practice. So um, same thing I told Steve. We're not just going to show up and be happy that we're in the final four. We're trying to go win it all. Is there a little competition with the guys, with the boys, as far as? In the state and trying well, to win it. Well, you know, um, <laughs> trying to win it, put all the pressure yeah, on the boys. You know, we we, we, we try not to, um, but I think just just naturally sometimes um, that competitive edge comes out. But but even even the Mayo game, um, our boys basketball team formed their own student section. And, yeah. Uh, to be honest, if it wasn't for them, I I, I don't know. It it would have really been tough. So they kept us in the game um, throughout the entire game, even when we were down. So, you know, just them cheering for us and, and having our backs, um, it was big. So, you know, it's, it's a great um, basketball school, you know, now. You know, yeah. and I, I feel like it'll be like this for, for years to come. You know, a lot of, a lot of um, basketball knowledge I've, I've gotten from my older brother, who, right. who's the head basketball coach. So, um, we're, we're one program. You know, we root for each other. We cheer for each other all the time. And um, that makes it a lot fun. What are the plans the school has? For, when, do you, when do you leave? Uh, we'll leave on Sunday. We'll leave yeah. on Sunday, um, try to go down and, and, and get something to eat. We'll have a team meal together, let the girls relax right after that. And then, you know, it's pretty much go time from will, there. Will they be able to go on the court and kind of see the court or not? Um, actually, you know, they're pretty strict down there. So most of the time, you won't be able to, you won't be able to get on the floor until you know, Still those 15, yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot of them have been there um, just seeing it. They, they haven't been on the actual floor. So um, I think I think we'll be fine. They'll, they'll enjoy this moment, and I know they'll, they'll take advantage of their opportunity.